Here we go. This is week seven. Rowan's away. So we're going to get stronger than him. Oh, yeah. He's going to be a week behind. And we're going to surpass him and get both. It, it doesn't matter that he's like 20 kgs ahead of us. No, it doesn't matter. We're still going to overtake him this week because he's away. <laughs> See you when you get back, Rowan. So I thought it would be good. We'd be able to get the pump. But instead, it went the opposite way. We got absolutely dominated. Active lifestyle seemed to really push us a lot harder. Without Rowan there, it meant that Amber and James could focus on Alan and I perfectly with laser vision. And it meant that there was no point during the personal training session where you could kind of just slack off a little bit because no one's watching. Just put a little bit more. Look at fear, Alan. Little bit. Let's secretly do things with the camera. I'm right here. So I was kind of excited actually to get into a session and just, just with the two of us, I'm um, wanting to use this week to get ahead of Rowan and everything. I, I very quickly learned that this was uh, going to be the most painful week uh, since week one. I, I thought that I wanted to dominate Rowan by doing a really hard workout, but wow, we just got absolutely owned by them. We were dead by the end of the session. Line up here! Okay, so it's negatives when you do this. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, well, that makes sense to me. I can do that. And you're going to you're going to bench press me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're going to lower yourself to the ground as slowly as you can. It's going to be real quick. Okay. Yeah. You're not on slow mo, are you? No. Okay, cool. Okay. Can you change way. to slow mo. <laughs> Yeah. What's, go! Uh, what's the next one? one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We usually do two sets of everything, and this time because it was just two of us and we we're just doing two exercises, we just did three sets of everything, and it was excruciating. On the third set, when you think you've actually you're supposed to have finished, the third set was just soul destroying. But really interestingly, we bounced back really quickly. Both of us were up and about and walking and talking really quickly. So it's good to see that our recovery time is increasing really rapidly. Do you know what the issue is? When Rowan's not here, there's an extra third getting put onto each of us. Yeah, that's, that's what it felt like today at least. Today was a big kind of punch to the gut in terms of what we feel progress is. Hello, my name is Alan and I suffer from nerd neck. I have this neck that kind of goes further forward than it should. We're sitting in front of our computer a lot, leaning in subconsciously. Even if you try and stop it, you'll do it. Yeah, posture is really, really, really important. These are rhomboids. Uh, these are the muscles responsible for pinching back through the shoulder blades. These muscles often aren't strong enough. Um, when you spend all day sitting at a computer, you spend all day sitting like this, and these sort of deactivate and they just relax, okay? So there are two things that we want to do. We want to improve flexibility and mobility through the thoracic spine. So mm -hmm. we do that by doing thoracic extensions. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is we want to stretch through the chest opening up through the chest, which is how we do it. Process, well done. Kythosis, we're fixing it. <laughs> kythosis can fuck right up. Okay, okay so start with your Fuck you, Kythosis. So Alan and Adam were throwing shade my way that I was going to be like, not making progress, getting fat. But I think just doing one day of workout actually kind of kept me at least not losing any progress. So I'm here at Araki National Park with Claire. We're doing some photography. Um, and it's in the middle of our, our fitness thing, so I'm just trying to try and do a bit of exercise as much as I can. So I'm just going to do some, I've already done 40 press ups, but I'm doing some press ups and then I'm going to do some tricep dips. Here we go. I knew it was going to be problematic. And I also knew the guys were going to think they were going to get the, the edge on me. But I wasn't going to let that happen. So, one of my workouts was to lift rocks. It's time to keep doing them guns. So. I'm out here, I don't have a gym. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Grabbing a big rock. It was actually a pretty decent workout. Like, it actually worked. They're, they're heavy. Like, dumbbells. Dylan, you son of a bitch. What's the matter? The CIA got you pushing too many pencils? Ah! Come on. So we headed off to jump trampoline this week, which was actually really good fun. I was just walking in there and kind of going... I had to kind of fight the childhood urge just to kind of like spaz out. It was really weird bouncing on trampolines again. I wouldn't have jumped on a trampoline in the last realistically like 20 years or so. But they've got a bazillion trampolines that you can jump from tramp to tramp to tramp and then against the wall and then I just, I just felt like a little kid again. It was awesome. Battle B! I was excited. 
But I thought I'd do really, really bad because of my height to width ratio. I'm like a stick and it would be particularly easy to knock off. You know, I had, I had a lot of faith that I was going to be the master at it. Round one, fight! So I was feeling pretty confident about the battle ban, and uh, I was actually kind of surprised that Alan beat me at first. In the first battle, I won. Rowan hadn't got his tactic down yet, but he, he was he was working on something in his little noggin. You win! Ha! It was always going to be this way! Round two, fight! So you know, dog, I got on that beam and I demolished Alan. We didn't even need a third match. You win! Round three, fight! I learned a little bit from that first battle and I, and I realized that the key is not to try and knock the other person off, but to just keep your balance. No! You win! I think what it was is Rowan realized that when you're swinging something round, you're losing your balance by swinging it. No! No! So when the next battle came, um, this time I endeavored to just stay balanced and just let the other person basically knock themselves off. Rowan killed it, Rowan was the winner. He just he got a tactic down where he literally just kind of let us fail around him. Where he would just go, I'm just going to plant my feet, stay still and let you fall off on your own accord. <laughs> it's kind of his tactic. You win! Perfect! It's tiring, eh? Hulk! Oh, give me your hand! Ah, give me your hand! Ah, no! Ah, no, you're slipping around, you're slipping! Ah, no, you're slipping ah, around! No! I'm coming! Help, Rowan! I'm, I'm safe! You're fucked! <laughs> Rowan, help me! I did it for the lols! So the foam pit, it's supposed to be this nice lovely thing that catches you, but instead it exhausts the living hell out of you! You just flounder around, you can't get grab anything. It's kind of like, it was kind of like one of the biggest workouts of the day, was trying to get out of that frickin' foam pit. Because it's, it's like quicksand, you've got nothing to really push yourself up from. And I never really struggled, but I know Tom the cameraman would have literally died if we hadn't uh, saved him. <laughs> My laugh! It was something that I didn't agree to, but Ron really wanted to do it for some reason. My model off was, it started off uh, with a bit of a, like, I started off slow and then once I got my groove on and towards the end I managed to do this kind of sideways flip and then just kind of finish it off just nice. I smashed my model off. I had a fabulous ending where I dropped my knees and proclaimed to the world that I was the winner, obviously. So this is my first time doing the model off on the trampoline. And uh, so I, I kind of struggled, but that's to be expected because it was my first time. Well, actually it's yet to be judged, but I'm pretty sure I won it. So. The good thing is I'm editing this, so I'm uh, Adam Wynn, basically. <laughs> oh, okay. So definitely Adam Wynn. Oh, yeah. Well, at the end of the day, the winner was definitely Adam. Um, it definitely was not uh, myself or Rowan. At the end of the day, Adam has the best model face. Adam, Adam, Adam. You win! So dodgeball was pretty fun, but ridiculously tiring. Uh, I versed Rowan first up, and I've got to be fair, he's got a good arm on him. And good aim. I was really tired, I got really tired, but I was also pretty damn good at it. Okay, I, mean, I have never had great aim in my life, and uh, I've missed quite a few embarrassing balls. Yeah, so Dodge Wars was actually really exhausting. We, it was the last thing we did whilst that jump, and I was already a little bit tired, but I thought I could throw a few balls around. Yeah, no, nah, I really started struggling. I, um, I think I threw a couple and I was kind of out. Usually I'm fine with Ron, but he's, he's kind of intimidating actually in some situations, and Dodge Ball was one of them. It was, it was scary. I win! I'm the best in the world! So the dodgeball was super fun. Like the whole thing is just super fun. That place is fun. But the dodgeball was just like all of my childhood dreams come true. Jump was great. I actually genuinely would recommend going to like trampoline park on and off off day, like when no one else is around, and just having a blast. It just you feel like a kid again. Jump is such an amazing place to go either with your kids or with a date, like a Tinder date. Do it. Do it. Uh, this bonus match, I'm just gonna charge him and fly tackle him.
But let it be known that no matter the outcome, yeah. I am still the victor. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yes, sir. Stay on, stay on. Huh. It was never going to end <laughs> any other way. I must stop. I'm sorry, I laughed over that. Because you hit yourself in the back of the head. It looks so ridiculous. <laughs>